Have you ever just trying to fix foods that are nutritious and good for the family and yet you don't have enough time? Well, this program is designed for you. It's a lot of different things that we're going to be doing on this show and it's entitled Wrap It Up. See you in a moment. Hi, I'm Paula Aikens, and this is my husband, Curtis Aikens. Yes. And we're the host of Abundant Living. Yes, we are. And speaking of that, you know, talking about abundance, you know, sometimes, you know, we've got so much stuff going on mm -hmm. in our lives that we just don't have yeah. enough time to fix good, nutritious foods. Too busy. It just really, really busy. Around. And yet we have to have that good nutrition in order to be able to keep us to ward off major killer diseases, mm -hmm. okay? And that breakfast one is one of the most important ones. And so today on the show, we're doing this thing called Wrap and Go. So just in case you don't have enough time oh. to do a lot of cooking in the kitchen or you feel you got a lot going on, this Wrap and Go program is really one that's designed specifically for you, all so right? just wrap it. Wrap it so and wrap go. It and, uh, wrap it and do go. This. I guess on your job, uh, yeah, keep things on a job, up. And something you're going to put in a tortilla shell, something like that? We're going to put it in different shells. We're going to show different ways in which you can actually wrap it and go. You can put it in a lunch pail. You can put it into a container and take it to work with you. Mm -hmm. And this is actually to keep you eating good foods okay. rather than, you know, jumping. I know that sometimes you get so busy that you wind up grabbing a hold of something. It's nothing worse than being hungry when you're running around. Now, not, now that, not... Hungry, that's but hungry. hungry. That's a different than hungry. Yeah, that's even hungrier than yes, that's, hungry. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You know, oh, a lot of times people ask us questions, even from Abundant Living, they'll say things like, what do you do when you're out there on the street? You guys, you're traveling all the time, so how do you work that out? Mm -hmm. We actually carry our coolers with us in our, our van, and we actually make sure that we have the mm -hmm. stuff we need. Otherwise, we're going to cheat. We get hungry, and that's going to be trouble. <laughs> so I, I have found, now, matter of fact, um, People talk all the time about you and um, me traveling. You know, sometimes we go in a South Central Conference, we have to go like five or six hours away from the house. Yes. And so I always tell Curtis, you know, um, they tease me, call Curtis is driving Miss Daisy. That's what they always say because Curtis drives all the time. And I say, honey, but I'll you sit drive. On, but you sit on the front seat, in the yep. front seat. So. And I'll say, I'll drive. And he says, no, no I don't want to sit no, on the passenger no. side, you know. And that's a good idea, And because if he sits on the passenger side and goes to sleep on me, there's no telling where we're uh, going to show up. Yeah, we'll, be, <laughs> we'll, we'll probably be in Mexico. May, might be, might be. Or New York City, Central Conference. the opposite direction. Yes. Right. But, you know, I fill the cooler up because I know Curtis is going to get hungry as we're traveling, and therefore we can actually start, you know, get the sandwiches out or whatever mm -hmm. we got going on. So we don't actually go out mm -hmm. to restaurants and stuff. We try to keep it. Not as much. Yeah. Ready. We try to make sure we just have things we want. Now, Curtis, this is a real good recipe, this first one. Let's it's wrap a it. breakfast recipe that oh, we're going to actually make. Oh, a breakfast wrap. And so let's look at the actual ingredients. Okay. Tofu breakfast tortilla. It calls for one 16-ounce water-packed tofu, firm and mashed, one cup of mushrooms sliced, one red pepper seeded and chopped, one green pepper seeded and chopped, one medium onion chopped, one tablespoon of chicken-style seasoning, one-fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then we're going to put that... Uh, one tablespoon of olive oil. We got some, a cup of salsa. We got six whole wheat tortillas, soft shells that are warm. And then we're going to garnish with some actual um, scallions oh. or chives. Okay. Either one of those, okay? Now, those now, red and green. Red and pepper, green. Those are medium. Color. We're going to use yeah. medium? Yeah. Color. Okay. That we, we, color is the name of the game. We know mm -hmm. we are eyes. So I'm going to have you go ahead on and start with that. You're going to start chopping up the uh, green peppers and the red peppers, okay? because they're the first things that's actually going to go into this uh, recipe itself. Okay. And, and, and not, you know, nice, nice size pieces to it. Yeah, like that. That's, okay. that's, that's great. Okay. That's great. Color is the name of the game. And, you know, most of the time when people fix something like the um, breakfast kind of item, they'll, of course, use eggs. And we're not going to put eggs in this recipe. We're actually going to use tofu. And this is a 16-ounce water-packed tofu. This is a firm one that we're using. And while Curtis is doing that, I'm just going to actually start mashing it up because we have to get the assimilation of actual eggs. 
So this is a cholesterol-free cholesterol free. recipe. You want me to cut this up too? Honey? Yeah, why don't you cut that up for me too? Okay. Move that down a little bit for me, that, that, that cutting board. Oh, okay. Just move it down there. Mm -hmm. And this is where all the color comes into play. I'm just gonna mash it up with your fork. And somebody asked me one time, can you do the silken tofu? That's the one that's a lot softer. You can, but I kind of like more of a texture in this. So either way, either a soft tofu, which is called silken tofu, or you can use the, um, the firm. Now the silken tofu, is that the more new that comes in a box? It comes in a box. Okay. Now they do have a, a soft one also, the silken one, that's in a water pack as well, okay? Yeah. But I like to use this one here. This, well, I like to use the one I'm using, which is a firm. Now, Curtis, they need to be cut up a little bit that's more fine. I like, no, I like the nice chunks, just like that one oh, okay. chunk. So let's go ahead and do those onions also. Oh, onions? Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get my fire started. This is one of those ones that's quick and easy. And you say, well, how come it's quick and easy? You've got so much stuff you got to do to it. Well, let me say this. Well, after the chopping up, it would be quick and easy, huh? No, what I do is the night before, I'm getting ready to make this dish up. The night before, that's when I cut all my stuff up. I cut up all my bell peppers and my onions, and I cut up everything and put it into a container and put it in the refrigerator. So that in the morning when I get up, all I have to do is just saute it. You see oh, what I'm saying? Okay. So you don't want to do that early in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and add my oil to my pan because these are the ones that's going to start up first, all right? And okay. you're going to use your spatula. You're going to let, let me just, let me, let's just get the heat up a little bit there. You're going to heat the onions and peppers up first? All that's uh, going to go in here together. All that's oh, going to okay. go in here together, okay? Right. So let's okay. go ahead on. You can go ahead and put that in for me. Right. This is red, the green, and the white. Try to get everything right. in there. Right on in there. You can do it. Uh, do it. I have my hand like this just in case something. Whoa. Uh huh. Okay, that was close. Uh huh. Yes, it was. Yes, okay. it was. So far, so good. So all far. Right. 100%. All right. All right. Okay. Now look at that. I'm not that cutting up anything. So I'm pretty. cutting up the mushrooms. Um, no, no, the mushrooms okay. are already ready to go. And so. For this recipe, we're going to let it saute for just a few minutes. Okay. We've already cut up and mashed up our tofu. You could even mash this up the night before as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then in it, we have the chicken style seasoning and we got those mushrooms. So this is getting ready to start up. And you're going to bring that one forward. Now, Curtis, yes. a lot of times when people think about, you know, we talked about this tortilla, we're using a whole wheat shell. And they think about the fact that, you know, we're trying to make it more nutritious. And so mm -hmm. with that in mind, we want to do whole wheat. And there's a couple things out there on the market now. They got the 100% whole wheat shells. They've mm. got the wraps, which comes in a tomato basil. We, they got the spinach ones. They oh, got all oh, so of many flavors. And yes. they're like wrap and go. Just fix your stuff up and go on so out. So it doesn't the door. have to be whole wheat. It can be different. Well, you flavors. can do this one in different ones. But when I do this particular one for the breakfast one, I use the whole wheat one. Okay. And we're going to be using another one after this oh. is over, so they'll get a chance to see that oh, as well. Okay. All so right. we're going to go ahead on, and this is starting up. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and put the mushrooms in. Okay, Let's mushrooms in. in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. And you know, once again, all these different flavors coming together. <clears throat> Put my lid on for a few minutes there. Oh, now that was easy, honey. Simple. Yeah, that was real simple. It's very easy and quick. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take... you let that simmer for a little we while? We let it simmer or? for just a few minutes. I just really want to get it hot because we're going to now get ready to add that tofu in there. How about oh, that? Oh, okay. okay. So we'll take the lid off again yeah, then? We're going to take that off and see. It's All got, right. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that okay. color. It actually brought it out more. No. And now I'm going to move this to the side. This is what I usually do. To the side. Should I put the ingredients in here no, first? No, no, no. Oh, no. That's okay. going to go in last. Now go ahead, let me just turn this down a little bit, Curtis, because it's moving up a lot faster than what I want it to. I'm gonna turn it down, okay? And then you can go ahead on and put that tofu right on in there, right there in the middle. Okay. So that's gonna take your fork out. Yeah, I guess I need go with that. Right in the middle there. Tofu Always going in. Up. And, um, you know, you look at that, now you say, okay, that's gonna be somebody's eggs. I'm not sure about that. So this is where we actually change it up. We're going to add, go ahead and put the chicken style seasoning right okay. here, sprinkle it on top now for Again, me. this is not chicken. Explain that to them, it too. Uh, it's a flavor uh, agent that, um, well, won't you explain it, honey? <laughs> yeah. No, no, it doesn't have any chicken flavor. It's just beef the style doesn't have any beef. beef. No. Yeah. No, no, I need all that. This is the, he's putting the turmeric in right now, mm -hmm. and this turmeric's going to help us to get that golden color that has that match of looking like eggs. And then, of course, because it is kind of a breakfast uh, uh, burrito, we're going to actually put a little cumin up in there as well. Oh, wow. All right. Good. Now we're going to start stirring it all up. Because we eat with our eyes. We eat with our eyes. And you can make, like I said, now two things can happen. Number one 
is you can make this up. Like I said, cut up all your veggies and everything. Or you can go ahead and make the entire thing up. And then that way the next morning all you have to do is heat it. This looks very colorful. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Sure is. Now what I usually do with this, Curtis, after I made it up, if you will look over it, go ahead and get us one Just shell throw out. It down. Oh, okay. Go ahead and get us a shell out. All right. Now look at that. We're using that a whole wheat tortilla shell. We're use a whole wheat shell. The fire is still on. We're looking good. Yes, okay. We're gonna, and we're going to put on that plate. Just do one of them. We're just going to do one. Okay. And at the end of the program, you'll see the whole thing. So, you know, think about that. When you get up in the morning, you've already got that oh. made up. Okay. And so with that in mind, all you're going to do is just okay. take your shell. And you, and, you know, you can heat the shell up. You can heat mm -hmm. it up a little bit if you want to. And we're just going to take and put this right in the middle. Oh, okay. Okay. And you want to make sure you get all the goodies, mm -hmm. you know. And what we're going to do, look at that. Now, that look mm. good. Does that look now good? Now it looks like eggs. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yes. it looks like eggs. The and then appearance. you're just going to wrap it up. Okay. okay. And then you're going to just turn it over. Face down. Face down. Okay. Can I, can I do one of those bad boys? Well, I want to do, you, oh. can, you can, okay, well, you can go no. ahead and do one. Okay. Because we're, we're going to, at the end, we're going to go ahead on. Um, you don't want me to? No, that's okay. Go ahead. You can okay. do it. You can do it. I don't want to mess up your system here. So that's okay. All right. Can, All right. I need to kind of back up a little bit, baby. I need a little elbow room. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You see what I'm doing? Make sure honey? you get some red in there also. The yeah. red red pepper. Yes, dear. There you go. Okay. All, All right. right. How about that? That's fine. Okay. Now, uh, and then I fold it this way. Are you taking notes? I don't think I need to take notes. Oh, okay. And then I'll f face down. Okay. Seam side down. How about that? So you can actually see that even your husband can do it. Because okay, you no, saw Curtis got on in there. I mean, what else supposed to mean? Children what? can make it up. <laughs> Anybody can do it. So Even you know what we're going to do? You, you're going to go ahead on. And I'm just saying that either woman doesn't have to be the one in the kitchen okay. making this all up. But anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a break. And we're going to actually come back because we're not finished. This is just the very first one. So I want you to just stay by. Now, this okay. one is another wrap and go. And I like to wrap make this go. up a day in advance for sure, so oh. I can get that flavor that I need to have in it. And so this one's actually a mock chicken salad. Oh, Let's look okay. at the actual ingredients. Chicken salad calls for one 16 ounce water packed tofu firm, two stalks of celery diced, two scallions minced, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of soy sauce light, one tablespoon of lemon juice fresh, one half cup of soy mayonnaise, or one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. Okay. Now, now, why a day before to get the flavors to soak up? Well, the one what? thing about tofu, and that is that whatever it gets next to, it incorporates or takes in that flavor. Okay. And you know, the one thing I like about the whole soy family or the tofu mm -hmm. itself is that one minute it can be like a meat. <laughs> substitute. Okay. The next minute, depending on the texture you actually use, it can turn into a sauce. And then it can also turn around and make a dessert. So it, whatever it sits next to, it just picks it on up and that's the thing. I think it's so versatile mm, okay. that I really like it. And this is a, kind of like a mock uh, chicken kind of a texture. And so guess what? When I get the actual tofu itself, this time I take the tofu and I put it, keep it in a package. Remember I said a 16 mm. ounce water pack? Mm -hmm. I take and put it in the freezer and I freeze it overnight, at oh. least uh, up to 24 hours. And it changes the texture so that the tofu has more of, see it's, see it's more spongy? Right, okay. okay. Now you press the water out after? I press the water out and you're gonna have still a little bit in there but you're gonna press it out. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how I'm gonna actually use my hands to crumble it up. I wanna have a kind of like a, a chicken texture to it, okay? okay. Now, and now, this is in the water pack, this is the extra firm? Oh. This is the firm. Firm. This is the firm. Okay. This is the firm. And I do have, okay, what I'm going to do this, because uh, I, I needed to pour it out. Let's go ahead on and let's get you started with that so I can use your bowl. Oh, and I okay. can show them actually what I'm talking about when I say squeeze out the water. Squeeze it out. And I'm squeezing it out because the water, when it went into the freezer, it automatically went right up into that tofu. Look at that. Mm-hmm, okay. Okay. And that should do it. All right. Now. Okay, now, um, you want that? 
Well, let me just move this around here because I, I got a different bowl. I want to use the bigger bowl. Okay. Let's get that liquid out of there. And let's take and crumble up now the tofu. Now, you used to do this years ago in a pita bread. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. We talked about that wrap and go because you can use the pita bread. But okay. this time, we're going to use another item that they can do also because, once again, you can make it up the night before. Make it up the night before. Yeah. And when you do that, let it sit. Let yeah. it sit, and that tofu will pick it up, and it will have a nice flavor, simulation of chicken. Look at that, how the pieces oh, look. Okay. Okay. Looks like a, a ch the chicken that you actually crumble up a little bit there, mm -hmm. or dice, okay, or mince, whichever way. All right. Now, when you do finish that up there, Curtis, I'm going to go ahead on. That's finished. I'm going to go ahead on with that. I'm going to add the scallions on in. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead on. That's that's probably enough. Of just that, that celery there. Let's this. go ahead and put that one in. Okay. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. yummy. Okay. Okay. I think we finished with the cutting board. Now, we finished with the cutting board. All right. Okay. And... I'm going to bring this one out because we're going to make an actual sauce to go in this. And so what we have here is that Curtis is going to take that lemon, he's going to get that lemon squeezed out. I'm going to take a spatula and I'm going to go ahead and put in this, excuse me, the soy mayonnaise. I'm going to go ahead and put that into a bowl. You can get that at the regular store now. Regular store, mm -hmm. regular store. There's they call it now. There's more than one they got, mayonnaise they got soy the base. grape seed out now. They've got a lot of different combinations, and all of them are kind of a simulation of a mayonnaise, okay? Right. And I like that. Um, I've got the mayonnaise there. I'm going to go ahead on and add in now the light soy sauce. I'm going to add in the garlic. Okay. I'm going to add in the turmeric. Turmeric. Get all of it out of there. And then I'm going to ask you to go ahead on and do the okay. lemon juice. Why don't you go ahead and stir that All in right. for me? Lemon juice going in. And then you have a, um, you can use the whisk one here, and you can just kind of whisk that around. I think you're going to do a lot. Well, let's, stir, let's do this one here first. Yeah. Let's do this. Stir it up. Because now once this hits now, it's not going to be, it's going to have mm -hmm. to look like a chicken kind of a color, okay? Well, now it's turning, what well, the turmeric the does The turmeric that makes it turn. With the color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can go ahead and spin with oh. that if you want to. Okay, and let me just get a spoon over here. So we're going to mix in now the celery, the scallions, because here comes now where the flavor is going to come in. You move these out the way, mm -hmm. and you can slowly start adding that in for me. Okay. Almost like a mustard, huh? It looks almost like a mustard, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, let's just get all that in there. Remember now, it's, as it sits, the flavor begins to change, and it is really delicious. It may not last that long in our home, 24 <laughs> hours, but... Uh, now, you mentioned you had the what, garlic and onion powder. Yep. Did you? Okay, yep. as opposed to garlic and onion salt. And let's talk a minute about that. Why am I not using onion and garlic salt? Oh, you want me to answer that question? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I think the last time I'll be asking you that. Uh, onion salt and garlic salt is nothing more than salted garlic and salted onion. That's basically what it is. Now, how hard was that? Not now, that hard was pretty easy, wasn't it? That was pretty easy. I've just been hanging but out now, with you. Now, now, look at that. Now, can you, you want to add more to that, or that's about it, huh? No, I don't want to add any more to it. I think you did a good job. Thank you. You did a good job. Mm -hmm. Now. You see the nice t color, the texture, believe yeah. it or not, mm -hmm. when you kind of see that, once again, we're eating with our eyes, and when you kind of see that, uh, it sits for a few minutes, and um, mm -hmm. the flavor is going to get in there, and it actually looks like, kind of like a chicken salad, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. The thing I like about the tofu is that not only does it, uh, you can mimic that of chicken, the white breast of the chicken, mm -hmm. but you can also mimic that of turkey as well, oh, okay. just by freezing it, all mm -hmm. right? And one other show a long time ago, I actually took the silken tofu and I froze it for three days straight. Chicken cacciatore. And I made chicken yeah, cacciatore, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And people that's a three-day like, ordeal. They call, yeah, that's, yeah, that one's a little bit longer, but once again, <laughs> mm -hmm. you can make your things, I'm talking about wrap and go, make things up, 
get them prepared. Uh, use a day of the week that you might want to just do. I call all my cooking. I might do all my cooking on a Sunday, or I might do it on a Monday. I just fix whatever I'm going to have for the whole week. I might make up all my salads and all the things I'm going to mm. be using for wraps because we travel a lot. So we want to make sure that the food that we eat are, is good, nutritious foods. And so I just want to thank you publicly for fixing these meals for me over the years and I just want to let people know that uh, I really appreciate these meals and the love that you put into these preparations of uh, wonderful nutritious meals. Well, you're the man. I want to make sure that you're, you're the fed woman. right. Okay. Okay. So let's now, continue. Now, now I tell you what, we've got one more, and I and this one here. When you see at the end of the program, we're going to put that on a whole wheat, like a, a submarine roll with lettuce and tomatoes and everything. And so, this is another one of those wrap and goes. Now, let's look at the very next one. Colorful veggie wraps. It calls for six tomato basil tortilla wraps. One half cup of soy mayonnaise, six thin slice, slices of tomatoes, six red curly leaf lettuce shredded, one container of organic alfalfa sprouts, one package of mock deli slices cut into strips, and six slices of soy cheese, which is optional. Now, once again, this is another quick and easy recipe. Okay, okay. No and it, it, it's quick, and you don't have this. This actually is one of my quickest ones. And once again, you can okay. make it up the day before, or you can actually make it up a little bit later on, depending on what you want to do. But it's not; it's quick and easy. Okay. And we're using a different kind of a shell this time. Okay. What? Okay. If you oh, were just there, okay. we have a uh, tomato basil. Now, okay, just I see the different one color of them out here. There. Yes. And these are wraps, okay. which is uh, larger than mm -hmm. your tortilla okay. shell, so it's a bigger one. So we're just going to lay that down mm -hmm. now. This is the size we're going to be using. I'm going to put it over here because I need for you to go ahead. We said we're going to have to take and cut our, our lettuce up we'll fine this for this one here. Bit. Yeah. Okay. And just go ahead on and uh, chop that up for us. All right. You know, fine. It's fine because it's going to go inside its wrap. Colorful, I call yes, it. it is. Okay. And you can do a couple things, you know. I, I use some time either... Um, the colorful uh, spring salad, or you can use the red leaf lettuce, you can use the green leaf lettuce, but it's all about color once again that we're talking about. So I'm going to move this over, Curtis, because now I need for you to uh, go ahead on tomatoes? and oh. real thin, thin sliced tomato because it's going to go inside this wrap. Okay. Now, also, as he's doing that, there is a lot of um, deli meats that are out now on the market, and you can look in your grocery section and see which ones are available especially when you talk about, you know, children's lunches, um, trying to uh, find something they can eat that doesn't have the, the fat, the cholesterol, so on and so forth, okay? So with that in mind... And those lunches means also a lot of them have the nitrates. Absolutely. With uh, some carcinogens, so you don't want that either. Okay. Okay, that's enough, honey? Yes. And now I got my deli meat here that we're going to be using. If you let me hold that knife there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it also in thin slices. Now, again, you have... The turkey, you have the chicken, you have different... Turkey, chicken, uh, they have ham, assimilation of those, all, all the different ones. They're all, they're not, they're okay. none of them are real. Made from a soy base, once again, okay? It has a nice texture, a nice, a nice mouthfeel, yes, too. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, I, I've got, once again, uh, my soy. Um, this is a, 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 a margarine of mayonnaise. Okay. It's actually from grapeseed. Oh, And okay. so, once again, we're going to take and fill up and go ahead and our... Coat mm -hmm, that? Coat it up, coat it up, coat it up. All right. Tomato basil wrap, huh? Mm hmm. Okay. And it makes a nice wrap, a nice size wrap, okay? Mm hmm. Look at that, look at that. That can be really a, a one meal, right? There. It is, because, yeah, because it's so big and, and you just, can really stuff it. Right. I'm just okay. doing that one there, right there. And we're going to take and put some of our lettuce right here in the middle of it. All right. Very, very colorful. We're going to take our thin slices of tomatoes. You need some more? No, no, no. Okay. We're going to put that on there as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take and put some of our meat slices on there too. Okay. We really like the, uh, the bologna. It's yep. good. And this, and, oh, and, and this one here is a, um, what the, a turkey. That's the turkey. A mock right? turkey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That we're going to put on there as well. And then we're going to put some sprouts on there too. Oh, Alfalfa okay. sprouts. This would be nice and, nice and fat. You know what I'm saying? And then we're just going to, once again, we're going to roll it up. Now, I like this one because when you, once you roll this up, you can actually curl it okay. like so, and then you just go and eat it. 
Well, guess what? We're going to show you, because we've, we've showed you three different types of ways to wrap and go, and so we're going to put all of our stuff together so you can see the finished product, so just stay by. We've actually come to the end of this hey, program, we sure and have. we've got all kind of things that you can do, wrap and go, and I mean, it's just unsurmountable about the amount of things you can actually Unlimited. do. Unlimited. Just to get that good nutrition in, that's the name of the mm -hmm. game, and so with that in mind, and we make start it very off convenient, too. Convenient and very colorful. You know, and very of, nutritious. Yes. The kind of food you take to your job with you or whatever, and they'll say, what is that? And, of course, it's all plant-based, which is really good. Okay, and so we start we off with that breakfast, uh, tofu breakfast tortilla, which has really got the assimilation of eggs and bell peppers and um, onions inside and of you it. you got some, what's that, sour cream? Sour cream, soy, sour cream soy with and some salsa. mild salsa. And okay. you got your chives on top of it. All right, let's And then go. we went to a mock chicken salad. Mock all right, chicken and salad. And it's got a really good, uh, I froze that tofu, remember now. Mm, that looks and, good, And uh, that has the... Um, onions and it also has a celery inside of it and mm. all the real good mm. goodies in it and I mean don't you want to just go ahead and I just go want to after take one that bite one. right now <laughs> and then the last one we did was the actual vegetable wrap and that one has the tomatoes and it has the, the alfalfa sprouts mm. in it and it's got the uh, lettuce and then whatever kind of deli meat you want to put inside now of it. Now you tied it with a knot was that the scallion? That's just nothing oh, but yeah that's just, just a scallion kind of that you can do that with. together or mm -hmm. just for mm -hmm. Appearance wise. Appearance wise, and you can get a chance, and, and I know that you can actually see. You can actually see, and I'll, I'll kind of hold it up those. You can actually get a chance to see inside. Yes. Look at that. Uh -huh. All the goodies inside mm, of that, right? Okay, yes. Okay. There and you go. so. You can see the meat just oozing out. All you need from that is just some chips or something, you know, mm -hmm. like you can have some baked tortilla chips to go with that. You got your stuff to go along with our breakfast meal. You have whatever's going to go along with your lunch meal mm -hmm. or light supper meal. You are good to go. So any of these can be separately with some fruit, as you said before, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe some... Um, baked chips. Well, you don't really need baked chips, but uh, this would be it right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, as always, John 10, 10, Jesus said, I come, that they might have life and have, have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. See you next time.